In this video, uh, in this video, I'll show you the basics of animating some of our images. So I've got this little, got my background image first, and I've got this little Barbie image, and then this JPEG image is one again, one I don't like. So don't animate these kind of images with these ugly white backgrounds. Um, if you want to animate something, here's what I'm going to do. I can of course click and drag to move it, but I want it to animate automatically. Let's so let's say I want her to just walk across the sand here. So maybe I want her to come from like say out of frame and just walk across the sand. So what I can do is I can go to um, her x coordinate. And I'm gonna instead of having that be numbers, I'm gonna have it set to a variable. Um, I'm gonna choose a, and then I'm gonna add the slider a because it prompts me to do that. Notice how when I play, she moves side to side. And depending on your project, you may want the you may want this kind of oscillation, but most people might prefer something that's more of a loop because uh, say you have like a car or something, it would be weird to have the car moving backwards for no reason. So that's one, one thing I can do if I wanna make her just kind of go across the sand here. And I can also tie that to a function instead. So maybe instead of tying it to just literally the value A, I can tie it to a function. Let's, let me set this equal to 2A and let me show you the difference. So instead of it having tied to A, I'm going to tie it to the function f of a, and what it's going to do is going to have her still move across the sand, but move twice as fast. And then you can set restrictions on like when she appears and when she disappears. Um, for instance, I can go here and I can put some domain restrictions. I can type little curly brackets and I can do, uh, oops, let me not do, there's a mistake there putting a. But let me do, uh, let's say negative two, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to five. Let me show you what happens here when we play this. Notice how she only appears once the slider starts at negative two, and then once it gets to five, she disappears. And the two has her moving instead of like starting at actually negative two, she starts at negative four. So just to show you some things that you can mess with, I can make her move faster. And this also makes her start at earlier positions and she sweeps across the screen. But let's say you just want to, if it works for you, um, like you might want to set your x coordinate equal to a function, but you might just want to set that equal to the variable a, and you might want the only the y to be tied to a function. So if you tie the x to the a value and the y to the function, when you play it, the figure will move across that line. So you see that line right there? And maybe I don't want it moving so steep so I can have it move right here, but it still starts and stops based on the domain restriction. And you can do whatever you want. You could do, um, you could make it move along a parabola. Let's say I don't want it so steep. So you can introduce like fractions to make that parabola shorter. I can make it start from the beginning. Um, so she just kind of, <laughs> just kind of flies swooping down. And I can make her fly. And once you have the path that you want, so you want her to go all the way across the screen, okay? So you want her to go all the way across the screen. Um, but once you have the path, you probably want to take that line out so that they actually fly across that path. But those are the basics on how to move things, um, just using functions and using a slider variable um, on Desmos.